Hi everybody. So today I have decided to take a family day. Pretty much every day is a family day in this house, but today I am making it a point to not do any work other than just upload my vlog. I even like have been responding to people saying like, you can't respond today, I will respond tomorrow. Cause I really miss my kids. So we're gonna go to a little sea center and learn about sea creatures. What do you see? You see the fish? What's the fishy say, Wesley? What do you see? So what's the fishy say? just got home from the sea center. The kids loved it, but we had to skip nap to go. So now the babies are, well, Wesley's fine. Wesley never really takes a second nap, but Maisie always takes a second nap and she is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs out of her mind. So that's kind of fun. But um, I'm gonna go check in on the chickens. And oh, look, someone gave me this at one of the shows. Okay, this is a uh, necklace I got. How cute is that? I'm obsessed. Anyway, let's check on the chicks and let's check on my kids. Look who it is in here. It's my babies. Is your hair falling down? I'll fix it. This was in your hair. You had lavender haze in your hair. You're welcome. People keep asking what are their names. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Hello. This is applesauce. Flynn is holding pink. That's pink. Oh, what's that one? Poopy butt. Oh, poopy butt. So it's still poopy butt. Very poopy butt. <laughs> so we've got pink big applesauce and the last one is poopy butt well we're gonna change it to a nicer name huh yeah we're gonna change poopy butt to a nicer name what should we change poopy butt's name to i'm gonna name her grapple truck grapple truck oh cool so maybe grapple for short no grapple truck grapple truck only grapple truck no short version it does change earlier today it was skid steer i think so one of them i call miscellaneous oh and eric likes that name he likes calling it miss Alanius because it's name changes every day so it's like the miscellaneous bird that has a changing name so eric likes the name miscellaneous but it does change i guess her name's grapple truck right now okay here's no, no, no. that one. Oh, i think that's pink she loves I know, a pink loves one. And that's applesauce right in the front here. This is applesauce. Hey, applesauce. See how applesauce just comes? Here's a little applesauce. That cheeky was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Garbage truck. Garbage truck? That's kind of cute. I named her garbage truck. Okay. Here you go. What's that? Pink. Here you go. <laughs> They have so little cute hops. They have like these little hops. Boop. 
snow, the winter day, the green frog, the day can be away. Okay, tonight for bath time, we're gonna have a fun shower time. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of buckets and cups and toys in the shower that has been recently cleaned for the kids to just kind of like the babies to just kind of sit in there and splash around. That's the plan. Okay, now I gotta get some toys. Final piece is a bunch of balls. There we go. Ready for some fun. This is the aftermath. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, I am in with the chickies. I'm waiting for Eric to come in here because we have to record the podcast today. And I ordered Taco Bell. And I'm not one to complain. I eat fast food. Like, I eat anything. Like, I don't care. And especially, like, when I get food delivered, I expect it to be cold. You know, these delivery people are working their butts off for not enough money. They have to drive long distances and drop off to all these people and not get paid enough. And so I'm always like, it is what it is. This is the worst Taco Bell delivery I've ever had. And it's not the delivery person's fault. Taco Bell's fault. And I love me some Taco Bell. But it is all cold. And I, I saw that like the person who picked up my food, like he picked it up and came straight here. It wasn't like he was like dilly dallying or whatever. And even if it was, I don't blame him. Like it's a hard job. But literally every single thing that I got was wet. Like not just like, oh, it had been sitting too long. Like wet. Taco, wet. Chalupa, wet. Like soggy, dripping. Like I picked up the taco and it just dripped and fell in half. Like fully just couldn't, the shell wouldn't stay together because it was so soggy. It was like picking up a piece of like wet tissue paper or like wet Kleenex. Like it just like sopped off. <laughs> and then I was like, at least I have a burrito. Like the burrito can't really go wrong. Look at the way this burrito is made. It is just exploding open no matter how I pick it up. Oh my God. And it's stale. The tortilla is stale. You guys, this is the worst Taco Bell I've ever had. And I love Taco Bell. Like I never knock on Taco Bell. I'm so sad about this guys, but it's okay. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm waiting for Eric to come in here so that we can record the podcast. So that's what we're about to do with the rest of our evening. And I'm also gonna plan out our St. Patrick's Day leprechaun trap because that's very important business. But um, I'm hanging out here because I like looking at the baby chicks because they're very cute. We're all besties. I don't know why my camera really wants to focus on the window behind me and not on me. Like I can see in my viewfinder where the camera's focusing and it's like, this is the face, obviously. <gasps> I don't know, but it really wants to focus on this. Like even if I put my face in front of it, it's trying to focus over here now. I can see the little square like trying to, anyway, I'm gonna eat my soggy burrito, bye. Okay, it's midnight. We just finished the podcast. It was a really fun one. My brain was way too tired to do a podcast episode, so I was all over the place, but it was really, really fun. I'm excited for the episode to come out because it was just, it was strange. It was a weird one. But anyway, we finished about a half hour ago, but then I was just sitting there holding the chicks, not holding, just letting them jump in and out of my hands. Like I wasn't like cuddling them or anything. I was just like letting them come to me on their own time. and. I am so attached to them. And this is one of the reasons I was so scared to get chickens. I was so scared to get another pet because I really want another kitten. But Eric's like, no way. Because they just like, they poop too much. And it's just like, he's like, no. Like there's, we already have so much cat litter to deal with. Um, First of all, chickens are way messier than cats. But I get very, very attached to my pets as most people do. Oh my God, you guys. I'm in love with these chicks. I was so sad to leave them when I left for tour. So since I've been back, I've just been trying to spend a lot of time with them obviously. I love them so much and I can very easily tell them apart now, which is crazy because when we first got them, I was like, how are we ever going to be able to tell these chickens apart? Like they all look literally exactly the same. But now for me, it's really easy to tell them apart. I'll tell you all about them just from what I know from like, from since we've got them, which was literally a week ago, but pink is like the leader of the pack. Pink is the most friendly, the most curious, the most social. She's the first to run over, like if we open the door, um, she's the first to like jump and get food. She's the first to go get water. She's the first to do everything. She's the first to go to like the little warmer. Like she's like in charge. Like she's like the most curious, the most um, social. She's not afraid. She's not skittish. And then the next most friendly is Applesauce, who I feel like I have bonded with the most. Applesauce has the darkest, head. They all kind of literally look exactly like, but applesauce does have a little bit of darker hair fur, I guess, because it's not quite feathers yet. Just some feathers are coming in, but applesauce has a darker head and applesauce loves me. I love applesauce. Applesauce always jumps into my hands, like immediately, like applesauce, like the second I put my hand there, it's like, <gasps> 
I just my hand, even if she doesn't want food. The other ones all just like want food for my hands or whatever, but like applesauce like, oh, I just want to stand in your hands. But applesauce I think is also the silliest. Applesauce will get up in my hands when everyone else is trying to eat the food and she'll just like kick it out of my hands. She'll jump on their little picnic table because they have a little picnic table and she'll like fly from the picnic table onto my hands and she like jumps up and down on their little like bars that we have for their little roosting bars and like she's just the silliest I feel like. She's also very friendly and very not skittish. Applesauce is like just absolutely lovely. Applesauce is very tame and very silly and applesauce and I have bonded a lot today. I very much love applesauce so much. And then there is Big, Pullweed Big, who I would say is the most skittish and is the most like fearful. Although they're all pretty like well-adjusted and they, I feel like they all are good at like understanding that we're there to feed them and we're there to be nice to them. Like they're still live animals who want to protect themselves. So I feel like Big is the least friendly, but Big will still come and like, while all the other chicks will like jump up into my hands, Big will like put like one foot up while she's eating. So she'll be like eating, but then she'll be like, just put like her toe, like one toe on my hand and be like, okay, I'm getting used to you, but I'm not there yet. So Big is much more shy and pretty skittish. Like if you put your hand in there to, to pick one up, she will run very far. Big will be like, I'm not, you're not picking me up, girl. Like don't come near me. And then the last one, which is Poopy Head, if you ask Flynn, or Grapple Truck, I think was the last thing he named it, but we're calling her Miss or Miscellaneous. Just now I had a moment with Miss Little Miss and I was like, Little Miss, we're gonna be friends because I feel like I thought Little Miss was like distant and was like antisocial with me. But now I feel like Little Miss, like she just needed to warm up to me and maybe she's just like more shy and she's like, I feel like she's starting to warm up to me more, but I also feel like maybe she's like getting left out of the group a little bit. And so Miss and I are starting to bond a little bit more too, but Applesauce is definitely my homie. Like she's my gal. So I'm having so much fun with them and I love them so much. I literally just talked for five minutes about chickens. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go soon, but I just got dropped off a bunch of childhood photos of myself. Like all of these are childhood photos. It's because I'm working on a project and I needed childhood pictures of myself. Oh my God, here's me and Teeny. Teeny just came with me uh, on tour. And here's me and Teeny when I was 15 years old. Uh, we were on our way to Scotland uh, because we went to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Look, here's me and Teeny again at Big Ben. Like literally she has been one of my best friends since I was 11 years old. That's crazy. You guys, okay, you know what I was thinking about? Like how kids these days these Gen Z kids are like so fashionista and so cute and so like know everything about makeup and clothes and everything and I literally didn't wear makeup back then like didn't even know how to do it didn't know people wore makeup in general like no one wore makeup that I knew I was 15 I just want to show you this shirt that I'm wearing in this picture with Christina right here this one this red one with like the lace I thought this was the pinnacle of fashion. I thought that was top tier like it had a lace-up string like I was like Excuse me, I'm about to walk the runway. <laughs> it's the only time in this whole book that I'm not wearing like a big hooded sweatshirt and my hair every day was slicked back like this, like in a frizzy bun every day because I was so insecure about my hair because I got made fun of for it um, because I had like frizzy curly hair. And so I always just slicked it all back because and just wore it in a bun because I didn't want people to like make fun of it. But yeah, I don't know how everyone is such a fashionista when I was like literally knew nothing. Okay, here's a baby picture of me and my brother and my kids don't look like me. Like looking at these baby pictures just confirms that my children do not look like me. But Maisie does this smile all the time. It's like an under by cross smile like so look at this picture of me. Like that does not look like Maisie at all, but um, that smile, she does that smile every day. She's always like, like with her little crossbite underbite is so cute. Sometimes I think I kind of look like Wesley a little bit. See, here's that crossbite little underbite smile thingy again. Wesley kind of looks like me a little bit. I've never thought that before now. I think all the kids look like Eric, obviously. And here, let me show you. And like his lips, like his facial expression, sometimes I'm like, that kind of looks like Wes. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's just the fact that like he's a baby and I'm a baby. I'm sitting on my grandma's lap in this picture. She's a queen, but I feel like maybe it's just that facial expression Wesley makes a lot. Maybe I don't look like Wes. Maybe I just make the same facial expressions as Wesley. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna look through some of these photos and call it a night. I love looking at old photos. I did, they don't have to be of me. They could be of a stranger. Like it could be of someone I do not know. I've never met in my life. I love looking at old photos. I love watching home videos of people. Like I love it. It makes me so happy. So this is a treat for me right now to be able to go through. Look at, oh, Rachel, she's so hardcore. My goodness, I have to text her a picture of that. It's so hardcore. Wait, okay, that's Trent. Does that look like Wesley? That's my brother Christopher and that's my brother Trent. I feel like that kind of looks like Wesley. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe it just looks like a baby and I just think babies all look like babies. But anyway, okay, I'm actually gonna go for real, I promise. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, <laughs> goodbye.
A cow says, A sheep says, Three singing pigs sing, La la la. No, 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 you say. No, no, no. And little dogs say, Ruff, ruff, ruff. Whoa. And the cats and the kitties say, Meow, meow. Quack, quack, says the duck. Quack, quack. And a horse says, <laughs> All done. All done. The end. <laughs>